Hey everyone, Rick here, and today is the day that my Dwarven Forge Kickstarter 3 rewards arrived. If you don't know, their third Kickstarter it was all about cities and towns and things of that nature. So this is super exciting. I, I don't know, I guess I was in the middle of the pack this time in terms of receiving my Kickstarter rewards. Um, I was definitely not one of the first, but it doesn't seem like I'm one of the last either, like I was on their previous uh, two Kickstarters. So with this, man, four beautiful boxes full of Dwarvenite goodness. I don't know, it was like 60 or 70 pounds of Dwarvenite. And one thing probably anyone who backed this Kickstarter can tell you, they really went for variety this time. I mean, there was a little bit of everything. Stone buildings, Tudor buildings, sewers, streets, pre-painted miniatures. Oh my gosh, the list just goes on and on. Anyway, so all my rewards arrived. What is today? January 29th, I believe. So they hit their delivery estimate for the third Kickstarter in a row. At least for me. I know some people it might bump into uh, February, but let's see. So this packing list number one has, I think that's in some of the stuff. And then there's some more. So that is a good description of everything that's in there so you can compare it to what you got yourselves and we will find out so anyway i was wondering what's the best way to do this so there you guys see here are the four boxes unopened so far obviously there's a lot more boxes inside each box i think i'm going to take all the individual boxes out and i will be right back Okay, I am back. Man, that is a lot of Dwarven Forge. And believe it or not, there are even crazier people than me who went for boatloads more than I did. I was at the Empire level, which was 10 sets. Well, I guess that's how they did it in the previous Kickstarters. There's a 10 set level. And I got everything painted. So let's start somewhere. Let's start with the minifigures, and I will open these up later, but just a cursory glance. Here are the town guard, two sets of those. Then we also have the, uh, kind of the, I don't even remember what this set was called, the, just kind of the town accessories pack with a fountain and a horse-drawn carriage pre-painted. Oh man, I am loving that. Two sets of those. Two sets of the pre-painted village folk. Absolutely. And then one pack of the rat men. And then under here, this brown box right here is one set of the um, Imperial City streets. And then these two brown boxes here are both monster sewer sets. So two monster sewers. Believe it or not, I had three in my original order, but they just kept adding more and more stuff to the Kickstarter. I had to cut one of the monster sewers to get some more other stuff. So also, going along this line, one pack of the stone ruins, one pack of the Tudor ruins, one of the door packs to give some variety, one pack of the... Uh, magnet, magnetic walls and wall accessories. Uh, two packs each of the stone slate roofs and terracotta Tudor style roofs. One pack of the LED illuminated uh, torches. One pack of the illuminated walls. They have stone and Tudor in there one of the deluxe balcony packs, and then this is all the basic building pieces. Uh, but shying away from that for a second, here is the uh, stone battlements and some 
columns to keep them upright. Just one pack of those. I have a feeling I'm going to have wanted more. But then we also have the Bridge of Valor. That will look great. This, I will show you that in a second, as well as this. For the regular Basic Empire Pledge, these towers here, if that was all I got was just the Empire Pledge, that's what it would be. There is six of these Packing A boxes, which is basically each one of these boxes builds one Tudor hut. So there's one Tudor cottage in each of these. Then there's four stone cottages. There is... This is all Tudor additions. So I'm not sure if I've not, some of these are priced stretch goal boxes, but there's four of these Tudor ones. There are four of these stone ones. There are two packs that look identical to this. Looks like some additional Tudor and stone options. Then there is six of these. These are probably the actual stretch goal boxes. Lots of little window inserts and chimneys and stairs, ladders, balconies, double posts, and then four of these, which look very similar, but there are some differences. Looks like there are more magnetic walls. I think that's what those are. That would be exciting. Here's also where some of the lighted torch stands are. There were some in there too, I think. So I'm going to have to go through there and see what all that is. But there's four of this pack, six of this pack. So that is all of the Empire Pledge. Now, the book or that? I'll go for the book first. Of course, as always, the thank you for your support letter. But this, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, how awesome. Stefan Picorni's Dungeons, Maps, Drawings, and Other Secret Arcana. How wonderful is that? And he signs it in here saying, Secrets Revealed. Absolutely. Because this is just astounding. If you go, I mean, there's all his different ideas for different Dwarven Forge pieces back in the day. And here's an example of a lake expansion for the kind of cavernous water pieces that he's done. And how he kind of had planned it all out. So if you're a Dwarven Forge fan at all, this book just goes into the mind of the guy who designed it all. And then even further back, his old character sheets he's done. And I skipped the whole beginning, which has all his old maps that were photocopied. He has notebooks full of his old D&D &D sessions. Yeah, there it is. Thank goodness he got this all copied down so that it is preserved forever. But the most touching thing of all in the back was this, him and his mom. How awesome is that? I remember, I believe it was the first Kickstarter. He took a video showing his mom's reaction to, oops, sorry. He took his, a video of his mom's reaction to them. I can't remember if it was meeting the funding goal or hitting his first million dollars or something. He took a video of his mom reacting to that news and oh, that was just so touching. Of course, she has passed. So that was a touching tribute to her in that book. And then last but not least, this box, there's no label on it anywhere. So I thought, what could this be? Well, here we go. This was just the most awesome stretch goal of all. Mystery grab bag of minis. But before we get to that, as always, like with every Kickstarter, here's the city builder bag, tote bag. With every Kickstarter, that was one of the really cool prizes you would get is that tote bag. But then this, here we go, folks. Oh, I could not wait to find out what figures would be in the grab bag. First of all, two-headed crocodile. Oh my gosh. I know people, when they spotted this guy, thought he might have been the mystery mini that's in each of the monster sewer packs. But no, he was actually a grab bag mini. Then there is a single-headed crocodile, which it 
just by itself is really cool. Some were saying the paint on these guys is kind of rough. If I could get focus, there we go. But I think it actually looks pretty good. And I've always been a fan of the different kind of paint jobs that come on these um, Dwarven Forge pre-painted figures. At least they're definitely better than what I can do. That's all I can say. Here's like a captain with a mug of ale. Here is just a standard old guy who stumbled into the tavern. Here's probably my favorite fig of all, even more than the two-headed crocodile. I just love this naga. Oh my gosh, not safe for work, but still so cool with the bow there and the quiver on the back. That is so cool. And then you have this giant cockroach with, with a saddle that you can either leave off or put on. And then there is this I think we've determined that these are like rat catchers that you might find that might go down into the sewers. Uh, but with a torch there and a shovel so he can sit right on the saddle there and ride this giant cockroach down the sewers. And then there's another one that can just stand on his own. And then we also have this rat with a spear in his hand and he's looking a little wide-legged that's because he can prop himself up on one of the crocodiles and ride them around the sewers can you imagine running into that duo good grief then you have just a basic giant rat i believe the mystery mini in the monster sewer sets are is basically this rat but with giant disgusting gashes on its back last but not least of course a, a dwarf blacksmith don't call him little and with a red hot uh, what soon could be a sword perhaps so those are all the mystery minis and I know I don't want this video to go on too long but that is everything all boxed up give me another moment through the magic of pausing and I will be back with some unboxing all right, I am back. I had to tear away myself from playing so I could take a look and uh, resume this video anyway. So here is basically what one single regular building set will look like. You have your floor. Of course, it's all pre-painted and just looks gorgeous. You have your roof. This happens to be one of the stone cottages. You have your four walls, two windows, a, a regular wall, and then a, one with the door that opens both ways. They are painted all the way to the tops. You can tell what the bottoms are because they are unpainted. That way, when you take the roof off, it still looks nice on top of the walls. And then you have your four posts. So you'll stick your posts into the wall, and it does take some twisting uh, to actually get the posts in there. But once they're in, they stay in really well. You can still get them out if you wanted to. And I saw someone mentioned uh, putting a little maybe vegetable oil or something and then wiping it off. And then they've had no problem. On the bottom of these, these are serious no-slip pads on the corners. This, I mean, man, that is seriously no-slip. Where can you get some more of that kind of stuff? But anyway, so that won't slide anywhere. It's even on the bottom of the roofs, on the corners. So when you put a roof on, that roof isn't sliding off either. So that is excellent. So there basically is one cottage. I've built a, uh, what do you call it, uh, just a Tudor cottage here. And so that's the way it'll look. Just look at that. How gorgeous is that? That's pre-painted, folks. I didn't do a thing to it. I just put it together. And again, with the roof having those non-stick pads on there, you put it on there, and that is just wonderful. And that's not going around. I have a couple little guys down there. And so that just looks absolutely gorgeous. And so that's how it works. These walls just slide in and out. Endless possibilities. Can you imagine just walls and doors of different kinds just slide right down in there? You can stack them up as tall as you want. You can have a Tudor bottom and a stone top. Swap them in and out however you want to do it. You want to take out a Tudor door and stick a stone door in there, hey, why not? 
And this is just amazing. I'm losing my mind over this stuff. If this was all it was, I would be blown away. But that isn't all. Here's one of just one of the stretch goal sets. So you have different kinds of walls, obviously. Here's kind of like an arrow slit wall. That'll look good with some of those battlements. Here is a little, some window dressing of curtains. So for example, here's your stone wall. You can, I don't know which is the inside, which is the outside. Stick some curtains in there and they just slip right into the opening of the window and it ends up looking, once you get them in there, it's hard to do one-handed. Once you get them in there, you have curtains in your windows. How awesome is that? There's a whole bunch of other window ones. So here, for example, is open shutters. Slip those in there. Now your windows look even better. And I mean, they looked fine even without the window dressing. Then we come to the magnet pieces. Here's a chimney. All of the roofs, I believe, all the roofs have uh, metal plates in them. So you can stick this chimney on wherever the uh, you would like. Let's, we'll just say that. Anywhere you want, that chimney will go. You want to put it over here, that's fine. I'm just going nuts here. Here is, and I'll show you more of these later, but the stretch goal box is also included these uh, looks like an ordinary wall and I'll have to make sure I keep these separate from the ordinary walls because it is not ordinary by any stretch of the imagination. Here's a sign, just a blank sign, so you can put a decal or paint it or whatever. So let's say, let's do this right now. Let's take this roof off of here. Let's take out this window wall, stick in this seemingly ordinary wall and pop a sign on there. Now you have a tavern, an inn, whatever you want it to be. How cool is that? So there must be some kind of uh, metal plate in there or something. And this would look even better if it was uh, like a second story wall with a sign right over the door. Amazing. Remind me to keep that separate. Double posts. So if you want to seamlessly have uh, a bigger, you know, room. So you could have two of these floors side by side, take out one of these middle posts, and you can stick a double post down in there, and then just have one wall go, and you'd obviously have another double post over there, or not, either way, and then you can still do your walls in here. So awesome. Of course, there's a stone one, a Tudor one. Here is a balcony piece. So it's just like a wall. You can slip the walls out of there and just slide the balcony right down in there. And then that would look good on a second story. But look how wonderful that looks. Man, that just looks beautiful. So anyway, oh, there's one other quick thing I wanted to show you. I mean, there's tons more stuff in here. There's stairs in here. But here is a little uh, minifigure stand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, folks. And that, it's not just glowing. Can you see that it's flickering? Might just barely be able to tell it's flickering. In real life, it is seriously flickering. How cool is that? Oh, man, I'm in love. Little switch on there. How cool is that? Okay, anyway, that is all of that. And I'm not going to go into everything, Bridge of Valor and other things. Here's a pack of the big torches. Again, same thing, a little switch on them. You can see that flickering. Can you imagine having a couple of those out there? Man, just endless possibilities here. Here is the magnetic wall pack. So all of these pieces here, and there's magnetic walls in both stone and Tudor. So if you wanted to do a Tudor wall and you wanted to put some, put a shelf with some goods on it. Yeah, there you go, folks. Gosh, I'm losing my mind over this. Are you kidding me? And this is just the beginning. They did this Kickstarter to get this kind of stuff going. Can you imagine what's going to come next? 
and another Kickstarter's on its way. Get ready for that. Here are just one of the ruins packs, just the Tudor ruins. So instead of having that nice roof, here is a ruined roof. Here is a ruined wall piece. Slips right in just like a regular wall piece. Here is some fire. This will fit into any of the window openings and look like flames are just pouring out of there. Obviously some other different kinds of ruin pieces you can stick in there. These are magnetic so they will hook onto the roof and look like flames are shooting out the roof. Here are a couple of the monster sewer uh, so inside the monster sewer box, there's a bunch of these white boxes with pieces. Here's one with a, a ladder going up. Here's one that looks like, oh, is it a regular wall? Well, it actually has a plug that pops right out, so it's like a secret entrance. And here's some of the sluice ways, and man, they are just disgusting. When you touch them, you think you're going to have to wipe your hands off. These things are just gorgeous. A full sewer can be made with those. And that was part of the City Builder Kickstarter. I mean, just the sheer variety of stuff they came out with is unbelievable. Here's one of my favorite things, as if I haven't seen enough this kind of city accessory pack. Here are some uh, posts that have like gargoyles on them to replace the other posts. There's this beautiful peacock fountain. Here's a little carriage driver with a crossbow, but he doesn't look, you, you don't have to pigeonhole him in as a carriage driver. He can sit on anything, really, which I just love. So there's his little wagon with horses, market stalls, oh yes, you have got to be kidding me, goods, water barrels, last but not least are the miniatures. Here is the town guard. So there's all sorts of these wonderfully pre-painted soldier figures. Man, those guys are just awesome. In all different kinds. And there's one special captain figure in each of these large packs. He means business. But I just love, my favorites are the crossbowmen on any of my castle walls. Just line them up. And then here are the pre-painted townsfolk. You have a nice mix of young and old, men, women, children, beggars, and rich folk. So, I mean, those are just awesome pre-painted figures. And I've always said how Dwarven Forge figures are some of my favorite. No, no, they're not the best painted, but they're serviceable, and they look amazing. Oh, one thing I did not yet touch are my city streets. Please look at, uh, look up on YouTube. There's a lot of other channels that have shown you what the streets look like. I just didn't want this to go too long, but man... I am just blown away, folks. Dwarvenforge.com. This stuff will soon be for sale at retail. You can get your hands on all of it, I'm pretty sure. I don't think too much of this was Kickstarter exclusive. Maybe, I don't know if anything was, really. So you can get your hands on all this. And there's a Kickstarter 4, a fourth project coming from Dwarven Forge in a couple months or so for castles. And they said that there's going to be even more stuff to expand what you already have. So I'm just losing my mind over all of this. I'm definitely going to have a long and fun night going through everything and inventorying it all. And I can totally sympathize now with the people, you know, we've all been craving pictures and videos. And we've been like, more build videos. We want to see more builds. Well, my gosh, when you 